Have you noticed that is the people who benefit the most from capitalism that advocate the most for socialism? Like, you're not going to see the plumber or the construction worker advocate for socialism. No, it's usually the video game developer, the actor, the artist. They're the ones that are the most likely. The champagne socialism meme is real. And when they advocate for socialism, what they do is they're saying that you need to pay more taxes, that you need to have less rights, that they feel more safe with a bigger government. That's pretty much what it is. And here's an example in the video game industry where almost everyone... Everyone that has a blue check mark on Twitter and works for a AAA company has uh, some left-leaning tendencies, but I'm surprised to see that independent video game developers that benefited the most from capitalism are also having something to say. So you look at the Among Us developers. Now, the Among Us team is made of three people, and they made a video game which went viral because of Twitch streamers. And then they started milking the market like no tomorrow. I mean, th these people are making money hand over fist. And we're going to go back to that in a little bit. But they're posting on Twitter in order to advertise their game. They're saying, you get one tweet to convince the imposter you deserve to live. And someone says, I'll teach you how to invest in the stock market, Mr. Among Us imposter. And the Among Us says, capitalism does not interest the imposter. Sorry, so you're dead. I'm and then you have like a bazillion communists trying to say, oh, well, no, because what they're doing is it's perfectly fine, right? Because now you have that stupid meme, which is saying basically, oh, just because I believe in socialism doesn't mean that I can't use capitalist goods, right? Because if you live in a capitalist society, you're going to use capitalist goods. And the thing is, like, no one is doubting that. But what we're saying is, like, don't you think you're using the capitalist excesses? Like, you're not just using the goods, you're using the excesses. It's like Hassan Piker being in that meme, and it's like, hey, I just bought a castle. Don't you guys think we need to change the system? I'm living in a castle. I married the princess. I now have a noble title, but I want to overthrow the monarchy. Just keep throwing me more money. Give me more donations so we can fight the monarchy. My castle needs a new moat to keep all of you filthy peasants out. Hey, no borders donations, am I right? Ha ha ha, just give me more money. We'll overthrow the monarchy any day now. Just give me more cash to overthrow the system. And by the way, that's really what it is. Because it's not like we need to change or improve society somewhat. No! They want to destroy society to build back better. Build back better! Anyway, right. People are pointing out that Among Us are an example of successful capitalism. And, of course, people on the left, on Twitter, they are fuming about it. Because... Among Us is a game created by three people. And at first, the game wasn't very popular because most people didn't even know about it. But it's only due to Twitch streamers and YouTubers that the game became popular. Now, I don't know any socialist country that would allow something like Twitch to exist. I mean, look at China. They banned Twitch. Like, the very idea that you can allow a person to be what, what the Romanian communists would call a social parasite using a liberal profession in order to just have access in their house and, and click the clack on a keyboard and make money out of nowhere, like, that would not fly in a socialist society. In a socialist society, every person needs to go out and work in the factory to produce the goods, to produce the requirements, and it's each according to their ability, each according to their needs. Do you have the ability to work 12 hours a day? Yes, then you work 12 hours a day. Do you have the need for Twitch? No, you can live without Twitch. That's what a decent, hard-working communist of the people thinks like. This is liberal bourgeoisie twats that do not understand what Karl Marx was saying. I swear to God, Karl Marx would be spitting in, their, in his grave if he heard what the people on Twitch are doing. He would renegade you all. He would look down upon you from his heavenly abode with disgust at this day now if they see what you did to the working people. But anyway, right, so what I'm trying to say is that I'm not a socialist. Right? Like, I love capitalism. I, I don't think that what the people from Among Us did is bad. I think they're a story of success, good for them. You know, now they're milking the consumer for every little dollar. They already made a fortune. So instead of working on Among Us 2 or making another video game, 
uh, they're focusing a lot on making random stuff, just adding a little bit of a pixelated skin there and charging you $6.49 for it, or rubles, I guess. Sorry, my bad. Charging you 6.49 rubles, but, uh, you know, it, it's just like an excess of capitalism. The idea of milking the consumer for every little drop. That's what capitalism looks like. That's what they're doing. And not only that, uh, you have like uh, a, a communist in the comment section saying, oh, the development team is just three friends. I assume they have equal ownership. If they do, then the means of production are collectively owned. Bullshit! They don't own Steam. Like, Steam is part of the means of production that allows their game to be sold. They don't own Twitch, which is the, the thing which made their game famous. They don't own YouTube. They don't own the means of production. They don't own shit. They're using other people's hard work, other people's labor. And by the way... Even if we were to just look at the microcosmos and we would say, yes, the people from Among Us, you know, they're just three friends and they share everything they have. Okay. It just shows that in a capitalist system, you can do that. There's nothing stopping you. They're a story of success. Look, you can have your communist lifestyle in the capitalist system. Nothing is stopping you. In fact, I'm willing to bet you can't do what they did in an actual socialist country that exists in reality, not in La La Land. Like in reality, in Romania, under socialism, you wouldn't be able to do that. It would be called a liberal profession. It would be looked upon with disgust by the people. So that's a, a very interesting take. Now, are the people from Abanga socialists? I don't know if they are. But what I do know is that they're definitely pandering. They, they love pandering to this left-leaning audience um, in order to, to show how virtuous they are. Because that's how you show you're virtuous today. You don't feed the homeless anymore. You don't even have to adopt African children anymore because that is the white savior complex and is racist, didn't you know? Now what you do is you go on Twitter and you advocate how left-leading you are. I, I am so progressive, I want socialism. Yeah, that's that's how... Oh, such a virtuous person. Oh my God, the good you did for society. Oh, everyone is clapping. Even the starving children, they look at you in admiration and awe. Uh, so that's uh, the, the interesting thing. It's like kicking the ladder from other people. Well, at least you're talking about how you would want to kick the ladder away from other people. So you use capitalism to climb to the top. And, and by the way, this is not just about Among Us. Like, I see actors do it all the time. I see musicians do it all the time. I see comedians do it all the time. They climb the ladder all the way on the top using the system. And then they talk about how they would want to kick the ladder so that other people can't climb. It's like, no, 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 we need to rearrange society now. Just, just hold on a little bit while I take my bags of money and put them in the Swiss bank. So you can't have access to it. And after that, we can build back better. Okay, first we destroy and then we build back better. And after the building is done, after the reset, uh, they get to import their save. They, they get to import from their Swiss banks. They, they pull the money back. And all of a sudden, they're in a great position that they were initially before. So that's something that really upsets me, I gotta say. Don't like it. You know, I don't like when comedians that were very edgy are now talking about how cancel culture is important and how you shouldn't offend. Yeah, I don't like Eminem who th was gay bashing and talk, t talked about how he would murder his mom in his lyrics. Yeah, I don't, I don't like Eminem lecturing other people about political correctness, but it is what it is, you know? We, we live in the world that we live and uh, these are the contradictions that we have to pretend we don't see. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little rant. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section and I'll see you guys there. Take care.